Dear friends, I bring you glad, glad tidings in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am speaking to you today on Dominion Recovery Intro 3, Introduction to Dominion Recovery 3. Dominion Recovery Intro 3, Dominion Recovery Intro 3. In Dominion Recovery Intro 1 and Intro 2, I have actually spoken about the faces of the Dominion Recovery Mission of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Dominion Recovery Intro 1, I listed the three major faces. Phase one, the rescue phase. Phase two, the healing phase. Phase three, the restoration phase. In Dominion Recovery Intro 2, I actually expounded a little bit as I laid emphasis on the different parts of the healing phase, which is the phase two. Today I'm talking about phase three, which is the restoration phase of dominion recovery. And as I said, the restoration phase of dominion recovery is made up of, the restoration phase of dominion recovery is made up of J justice. J justice or the justice or legal principles K kingdom the kingdom principles and air love the love principles in relationships family relationships friendship relationships fellowship relationships I have come to understand that not many people get the fact that the making of anything is in its purpose. And purposes most times are found in mandate statements. Prenele commandement, take charge. Most times when charge is given, it's given in the form of a mandate. God gave man, Adam, and through him, the entire human race, Dominion mandate. Man was to subdue the earth. Man was to beautify the earth. Man was to have influence within a sphere as God has delegated to him. But we see that man fell from his position of dominion. And because God is a just God, God made provision for Adam to come and restore. God made provision for Adam to be restored back to where he fell. And we actually see that from the third chapter of Genesis going right to Revelation 21 where the Bible says there shall be no more tears and sorrow and all of that suffering because God will wipe away the tears from their eyes. Adam was given a mandate. Adam was given this mandate and Adam fell. And because of that, Adam transferred that to every other human who came through him. And that's why the Bible says sin came through the first man, Adam, and that Christ, the second man, the living spirit, brought about restoration so we actually come to realize that restoration into kingdom living kingdom work kingdom ministry is the entire mission of god through the foundation 
of the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We actually see that God that began this process using the Hebrews and the Israelites and the high priest from the family of Aaron and all the others as the history and the genealogy and the laws of the New Testament make us to understand. Well, you know what? Man was incapable of keeping the laws. Sacrifice was supposed to be made for sins. And constantly the blood of animals were being used. The lives of animals were being used to atone for the sins of, of, of men as, as the high priest and the, uh, went in the inner of the temple to make sacrifice once every year for the people. But that was insufficient. And God was going to use a, 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 a lamb without blemish. And that's why we see that Jesus came. And the Bible says that he was tempted like we are at all point, but yet without sin. So Jesus came to fulfill that which the Father had promised in the Messianic covenants as laid down by Prophet Isaiah, Jeremiah, and all the other prof prophets who wrote about the coming of Christ. Beloved, it will be inappropriate for me to tell you anything different. Man is going to be restored to kingdom relationship and living in a new earth while there will be a new heaven. But between now and that time, so many things are going to happen. There's going to be a consummation of the kingdom. The church is not the kingdom. And the church is not what people call themselves church, 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 or a building. Only God knows who belongs to the church. I don't know. You may be in a, in a fellowship where I belong. And if the Holy Spirit doesn't tell me things about you, and even if he tells me, there will be times when he asks me to keep quiet. I may not know anything. And so there are people who may be in the church, and they are not of God. They may be in a fellowship which is called in the name of God. And they are not of God. That doesn't mean that that fellowship is not of God. Now get that clear. They may just be there doing their own thing, and they will be part of the weed and the tar is growing together. God knows what to do on that day. So as I bring you the third phase, the intro three of Dominion Recovery, I talk about justice principle. God gave the Israelites, the Jews, divine laws, civil laws, communal laws, sanitary laws, religious and spiritual laws, name them. And there were repercussions for breaking those laws. Well, you know, the God of dispensation is a good God. And he found that man could not keep the law. And so he was going to make provision for man. That he was going to come in and make it easier for man. Through the difficulty of the life of Christ. You know that when Christ was, was finding out the will of God. And making sure that the timing and everything was appropriate and match. He was in Gethsemane praying. And seeking the face and the will of God. And when he found out. His face and his gaze was fixed to Jerusalem. Going to the cross. The Bible says he withstood the shame of the cross. For the sake of the crown that stood before him. In that crown is your crown. If you abide, if you follow him. And if you walk with him. He says you are my disciples if you keep my commandments. And they are commandments. They are justicial principles. They are, they are legal principles that Jesus himself gave us through the beatitudes and other ethical methods that he asked us to keep. So don't say that because I'm of Christ, I will not keep the law. Jesus himself paid taxes. So don't say, oh, I'm of Christ, so I'm not going to respect the government. I'm just going to do as I please. No. You are of Christ and Christ says he fulfilled the law. And since you abide in Christ, you will have to fulfill the law for you to be able to abide in Christ. And Christ says, keep my commandments. And most of those commandments in the Old Testament were, re, were, were spoken in the New Testament. So I'm saying, I don't believe in the Old Testament. I just, I just excite the New Testament. Because we are in the New Testament. Do you know that the New Testament actually has a lot of the Old Testament spoken into it? Paul was a learner of the Old Testament. And most of what we have in the New Testament is just what Paul spoke about of the Old Testament. So forget about, I don't, use the new, the, I don't use the Old Testament. If you use the New Testament, then most of it is from the Old. So you use the Old Testament. 
for the fulfillment of all righteousness. So there's the justice principle, the J principle. Being of Christ doesn't mean that we break the laws. Being of Christ doesn't mean that we, 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 we don't respect the laws of nations. Being of Christ doesn't mean that we don't, we don't respect laws, let down principles in the family. Being of Christ doesn't mean that we don't respect laws that bind, come, come on, come together. That's why people just break laws. After all, and we can manipulate everybody and anything. It suits us today. We change it. Tomorrow we'll come there. After all, we can say that we are not in the Old Testament. We are in the New Testament. Shut up. Just shut up. Who told you that? You have some little midgets who are ready to listen to that crap and they are following you to their way of the era of destruction. Don't tell me that crap. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he was the same yesterday and it's the same today, and today and yesterday, please you. And you want to change it tomorrow because it should please you tomorrow. I'm not going to follow you. Let, the, let, let midgets follow you. Let those who think that they are smart they will come to know that they are not. I will, as, 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 as the man Joshua said, as for me and my family, we shall worship and honor the Lord. And so there is a justice principle. When, when it's not done right, when the laws are breaking every day, are broken every day, to please certain people, it's time for you to leave. It's time for you to make a statement, take your position, and let heaven fall. Let it be that you stand on the word of God. Hello, are you ready? It's not easy to serve the Lord. He says, lean of me. Lean of me. My yoke is light. He didn't say I'd have no yoke. But by the anointing, every yoke is broken. Beloved, there is the kingdom principle. The K. Now, do you know that Jesus said to Pontius Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world. And he said, you are of the kingdom and the kingdom is in you. Now, that is the kingdom principle. It's a little bit difficult to understand. Especially because Jesus used wise hidden saints, the parables, to teach on them. And he told the disciples that he did so for a certain reason. And he was going to open some of those things up to people as the need arises. So you are not special. And you are of no bother to be asking God questions. For you didn't create God. He created you. Whether you like it or not. I bring you the importance of the kingdom principle. Now there is a kingdom living principles. There are many of you who don't know that. Jesus said. Though they are in the world. They are not of the world. That statement is very pregnant. You are in the world. But not of the world. Which means that there are certain things that the world does. That should not be seen. To be done by you when you call the name of Christ. But can you really tell me that me and you will do that? No, we don't. So we are in the world and we do us the things of the world. We are in the world and we are of the world. It's our action. And I'm sure we like the song. We are the world. Oh yeah, some of you are the world. We are in the world, but we are not of, the, of this world. We are not of this world. The children of this world know themselves. We are not of this world. For our Father has promised us that He will burn down the elements of this earth at the last day. He will create a new earth and He will populate it with a new us. Oh, so the point about it is for us to be able to appreciate the fact that when you come to Christianity, when you come to a covenant relationship with God through Jesus, there are things which you need to understand. There is a kingdom authority principle. Authority in the government, the major three institutions in the Bible, the institutions of the church, spiritual, the institution of family, the institution of the government, the authorities laid down. And there are people who don't mind. They mess those things up, scatter things. After all, they have people who are ready to follow them. It's my uncle, auntie, brother, everybody who has spoken. So if it's not, you have to follow us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God doesn't tell me that I be just follower of people. He says, I should be follower of God, of Jesus. And I'm not asking you to follow me. Paul said, be ye follower of me as I am of Christ. There are many people who break the commandments. Jesus says, if you have me, keep my commandments. And if they don't keep the commandments and you are following them, something is wrong. He says, behold, I give unto you power. So there's kingdom authority. And then there's kingdom finances. The principle of giving and receiving. The principle of tithing. And other principles which are laid down in the Bible are the divine heavenly 
financial system or components of that. Don't go and say, hey, mortgage and all of that. And that, that, that There is nothing like mortgage in the Bible. If mortgage works for you, that is very good. I'm not saying don't use mortgage. But when you are tied to the systems of the world, and then you start asking God at the end of the day for miracles, remember where your miraculous faith was placed from the beginning. God is not your magician that you can just shake the bottle of the journey and command him as you like. No. That's why Casey Price says faith 